is not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for questions that got answered in Thor Love and Thunder. Human handshake to the Asgardian shake into the snake that you cannot trust. Really dragging this out. For this list, we're looking at questions we had going into the fourth solo Thor film that received answers or were at least given more insight. Hope you love spoilers because there are a lot of them here. Did Thor Love and Thunder answer your questions? Let us know in the comments. Why did Thor and Jane break up? After Jane Foster played a pivotal role in the first two Thor movies, it's briefly mentioned in Ragnarok that she dumped Thor. She didn't dump me, you know. I dumped her. It's a mutual dumping. Well, Thor claims it was the other way around. Love and Thunder delves deeper into the relationship, revealing that the two dated presumably after the events of the Dark World. Yeah, he had to figure some stuff out with his father. He kind of committed treason on our way out. As each became preoccupied with work, Jane broke up with Thor via a written note. When they reunite, Thor mentions that it's been eight years, while Jane thinks less time has passed. That's probably due to the five years lost in the blip. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days, give or take. After leaving Thor, Jane seemed to throw herself further into her research. While the power couple begins to rekindle the spark, Jane's stage four cancer diagnosis tragically has other plans. Is Mjolnir beyond repair? Captain America has a shield, Hawkeye has a bow. Thor had a hammer until Hela destroyed it. Although Thor got to wield an alternative universe Mjolnir in Endgame, Steve Rogers eventually returned that hammer to its timeline. How long is this gonna take? For him, as long as he needs, for us five seconds. In Love and Thunder, it's revealed that the remains of Mjolnir have been moved to New Asgard. Apparently, either Thor or somebody else worthy went back to Norway to pick up the pieces. The hammer seems forever broken, but Mjolnir calls to Jane during her darkest hour. Upon arriving, Jane finds herself able to possess Mjolnir, which can now assemble and disassemble itself. While they were dating, Thor asked Mjolnir to protect Jane. When Jane gets cancer, something in Mjolnir awakens, giving her the strength to keep fighting. Is Thor aware of the other Loki? After multiple fake-out deaths, Loki met his end in Infinity War at the hands of Thanos. We'll never be Although this Loki isn't resurrected, a 2012 variant does break free during the time heist, paving the way for the God of Mischief's Disney Plus series. On behalf of the Time Variance Authority, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Hands up. While Loki didn't make contact with his adoptive brother during that show's first season, we still wondered if word ever reached Thor that another version of his brother got away with the Tesseract. It seemed like something Tony Stark or Scott Lang might have mentioned since they were present. Where's, where's the case? Where's Loki? Loki! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Oh, we blew it. Thor remains in the dark in Love and Thunder, however. He even got an R.I.P. Loki tattoo on his back. And flick! Oh, you flick too hard, damn it! If Thor ever meets the 2012 variant, we wonder how Loki will react to the tat. Where did Heimdall go when he died? Although his screen time in Infinity War is short-lived, Heimdall leaves a strong impact as he sends the Hulk back to Earth before Thanos slays him. That was a mistake. Where does an all-seeing, all-hearing being like Heimdall go when they die, however? Valhalla has been mentioned a couple of times in past MCU movies, but Love and Thunder is the first to elaborate on the Asgardian afterlife. Odin, I bid you take your place in the halls of Valhalla. The brave shall live forever. At one point, Thor mentions that dying in battle is a main qualification for getting into Valhalla. Dying after the battle doesn't count. Since Heimdall perished while battling Thanos in the Black Order, he earned his place in Valhalla. Hear me and rejoice. You have had the privilege of being saved by the great titan. 
even in death, Heimdall continues to serve as a gatekeeper between worlds, welcoming Jane Foster to Valhalla. Is Thor a Guardians of the Galaxy mainstay? Upon meeting the Guardians in Infinity War, Thor became something of an unofficial member. Of course, in Thor's eyes, he was their new leader. Look, this is my ship, and I'm not going to... Wait, what kind of, what, what kind of weapon are we talking about here? The Thanos killing kind. Don't you think that we should all have a weapon like that? No. You simply lack the strength to wield them. Your bodies would crumple as your minds collapsed into madness. When Thor flew off with the Guardians during the conclusion of Endgame, it appeared he may stick around for a while. Thor does fight a few battles with the Guardians, doing most of the heavy lifting and causing most of the collateral damage. You said this would be a relaxing holiday! Alas, it wasn't long until Thor sets off, leaving the Guardians behind for the movie's remainder. This likely means Thor will not be a principal player in Volume 3. Although there's still no word on what happened to 2014 Gamora, Star-Lord mentions his lost love during a heart-to-heart -heart with Thor, suggesting there might be only one Gamora for him. This is the one? Seriously? Your choices were him or a tree. Did Valkyrie lose her lover in battle? Making her MCU debut in Thor Ragnarok, Valkyrie is barely scraping by when Thor meets her on Sakaar. You must be a traitor or a coward because the Valkyrie is sworn to protect the throne. Listen closely, your majesty. This is Sakaar, not Asgard, and I'm a scrap and not a Valkyrie. Thor recognizes her as one of the warrior women who fought Hela long ago. In a flashback, Valkyrie screams in agony watching one of her fellow female fighters die in combat. Based on the heartbreak in Valkyrie's eyes, it's been theorized that this woman was more than an ally or buddy. During a conversation with Korg in Love and Thunder, it's confirmed that Valkyrie lost her girlfriend during the fight. This solidifies Valkyrie as one of the MCU's first LGBTQ heroes. She's not the only one in this film, as Korg finds love with a mustached Cronin. Is there anyone else out there for Valkyrie, though? Are you packed? A hand grenade. Portable speaker. Is Thor still worthy? Getting to fight with Mjolnir again in Endgame, Thor is ecstatic to find that he's still worthy. I'm still worthy. <sighs> oh, boy. Seeing Jane wield the hammer in the Love and Thunder trailer, though, we all wondered what this meant. Was Thor no longer worthy? Why did Mjolnir reassemble for Jane, but not the God of Thunder? He reclaimed his title. <laughs> as the one and only Thor. Oh, spoke too soon. In the film, it's clarified that Mjolnir was fulfilling a promise that it made to Thor, protecting Jane no matter what. While Mjolnir serves as Jane's weapon throughout the movie, the hammer still gravitates towards Thor on occasion. Thor confirms his worthiness upon lifting Mjolnir another time, much to his relief. Yet this makes things more than a little awkward between Thor and Stormbreaker. Hey, enchanted axes have feelings too. Whatever happened to Lady Sif? Like Jane, Lady Sif was a pretty big deal in Thor's first two solo adventures. She was MIA when Ragnarok rolled around, however. Sif would play an integral role in two episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., pursuing Lorelei, fighting a Kree, and hunting an Inhuman. Here I will no longer pose a threat to Asgard. Can you not let me be? Find some small mercy within your heart? My heart has no place in this. I have orders to bring you back. She also popped up on season one of Loki, although that was only a memory. Love and Thunder marks Sif's first big screen appearance in nearly a decade. With Gore running amok, Sif attempts to butcher the God Butcher, but she loses her arm in the process. Sif considers dying on the battlefield, but Thor convinces her to return to New Asgard, where she helps train a new generation of warriors. Glad you're back, Sif. I thank you for your sword and for your counsel, good lady Sif. Will there be more adventures with Hemsworth's Thor? From Tony Stark to Steve Rogers to Natasha Romanoff, many of the OG Avengers have either died or retired. Although some suspected that Love and Thunder might be Chris Hemsworth's last outing as the God of Thunder, the film's finale clarifies that he won't be hanging up the axe or the hammer anytime soon. I love it, I love it. I don't come back for more and more until someone kicks me off the stage, you know? A fifth Thor film hasn't received an official announcement yet, but the ending text guarantees that Thor will return. Judging from the post-credits, the next film will likely pit Thor against Brett Goldstein's Hercules. Thor might not have Jane by his side next time around, but another will surely have his back. 
before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The meaning of love and thunder? Going in, the movie's title was somewhat ambiguous. The thunder part was self-explanatory enough. But what does the love mean? My friends, times like this, we need to unite and come together. We figured it referred to the romantic comedy angle. The love in the title has multiple meanings, however. The only ones who gods care about is themselves. When allowed to wish away all the gods, Gore chooses to instead bring back his daughter. Love thus triumphs over hate. And as it turns out, the name of Gore's daughter is Love. While Gore is unable to raise Love, Thor offers to take her under his cape. The title alludes to the MCU's newest duo of Love and the God of Thunder. Love may view Thor as an uncle figure, but actress India Hemsworth is the daughter of the film star. That's my daughter as well. She plays the character of Love. Um, and, you know, I. I it, 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 it's, it felt sort of like a one-off fun family experience, you know? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.